we all know plastic pollution is a major issue. There are giant vortexes in the ocean with tons of plastic swirling in them, breaking down into microplastics. News 8's Ned Ed Ronpour shows us how a local nonprofit, Clear Blue Sea, has come up with a plan to clear all that trash right out of the water. All the trash you may see out on the streets typically would go down our rivers and end up in the bay and then it goes into the ocean. What if there was a robot that slowly went through the bay, picked up all that extra debris before it got out further into the water? And what if that robot could also go out into the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and clear that up? Meet Fred. That stands for Floating Robot for Eliminating Debris. Cute name, serious business. The business of cleaning up trash out of the water. Each year, 14 million tons of trash end up in the ocean. That's a trash truck load every single minute. A lot of that trash ends up in ocean gyres, where plastic breaks down into microplastics. You see the images of sea turtles caught in fishing nets, but what you can't see are the microplastics that unknowingly get eaten by sea life. And it all comes right back to humans in the form of dinner. A study by the World Wildlife Fund showed each week we consume five grams. That's a credit card size worth of plastic, all from tiny pieces in our food, the air, even the water. So let's get back to that, the water. Imagine if it was clean. What a concept, right? Well, that's the goal of Fred and the makers of these robots. So this is Fred Jr., our 16-foot um, Fred on these used catamaran hauls. The makers of Fred's are interns and volunteers, some students in high school and college, coming up with some brilliant plans that are currently in the testing phase. And so far, so good. Here's Fred on the water, and here are a few Freds in the warehouse. This one is Freddy, a DIY Fred. We want to put our instructional package in the public domain so that everyone around the world who wants to clean up ocean plastic or even just any waterway plastic um, will have that opportunity to build their own Fred. With sustainability a top priority from the solar panels to even some of the parts, a boom would guide the debris to the conveyor belt. It's porous so the water would go through, but the holes are small enough that would even pick up microplastics, anything from five millimeters up to five meters. And if you're worried about Fred harming sea life, I was too, and they assure me Fred has acoustic pingers to warn marine animals, and so far they've had no problems. We wouldn't technically be picking up any live animal. Fred moves actually really slowly to make sure that animals have a chance to move out of its way if need be. All that damaging trash, though, would end up in bins that would then meet up with a mothership or come back to land to get recycled or even reused. It's a full circle type of concept. Making cute stuffed toys. Yeah. Clothes. Uh, clothes. The trash could get turned into stuffed animals like what the company Shore Buddies has done. They're turning plastic bottles into these cuties. Clear Blue Sea has also created koozies out of plastic yeah. bottles. Well, this is our collaboration with Cafe Virtuoso. And these come with a glass jar. You take it to Cafe Virtuoso to fill up on coffee at a discount. Just knowing that 16 billion coffee cups are thrown out each year, Clear Blue Sea is trying to not only clean up the waste, but they don't want us to emit as much. At Clear Blue Sea, they hope to send fleets of Freds, even 50-footers or 150-footers, into the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Using solar power and remote controls, imagine what hundreds of Freds could do. They'll go out in fleets and they'll just kind of be these big, I imagine as like a little army of robots going out and just cleaning out these oceans. So yeah, within the next three to five years. So if you see a Fred out in San Diego's bays or rivers perhaps, just know it's testing the waters for now. You can wave, but don't be offended if this robot doesn't wave back. Clear Blue Sea still needs funding and sponsors to make this sea change happen. In fact, they solely function through donations and volunteers along with interns. They have about 100 people who are dedicating their time to this. Check out Clear Blue Sea at CBS8.com if you'd like to help. Here at Mission Bay, I'm Nettie Rampour for Earth 8.